I put these together like two months ago already and I never actually made a dedicated video mentioning it. It was always just like a little snippet in between videos or just like a little bit, hey, check this out right here. But I never actually made a video explaining the actual Swathi bundle. And I decided, well, I'm right here just recording. So I'm going to put these together right now and just push through with it, right? So what is the Swathi bundle? Well, basically, I decided to put together the a bundle of pretty much all the tools that I built up to before, no, I think up to the November of 2024. I released only, I think, one newer tool before that. That's not part of the bundle for now. Maybe I'll have like a second bundle that I can release after I put together a bunch more tools. But yeah, so what is it? I basically decided, okay, let me just try and see if I can put together a bundle to see if people like that and then if people find that more valuable, right? And it worked pretty well like i've been trying to get more reviews for it so that people can share their experiences and what they think about it and see if i can add things or if they find bugs or anything basically but yeah it's a comp it's the collection of over a thousand tools and by a thousand tools i don't mean a thousand different packs by a thousand tools and elements i mean uh there's a ton of effects in the paperful effects for example there's like 15 15 paper effects, then there's like the transitions, then there's the textures, then there's the pre-made elements. Um, and the same thing for the split screens toolkit, which has like 500 different split screens uh, that are already pre-made and some of them are animated. Um, so that's basically it. When I say over a thousand tools and elements, that's basically what is inside of these packs, right? So let me just show you the packs that we got. First, we have the split screens, which if you check out the split screens landing page or the split screens page, you can see a little bit more details on it. Basically allows you to add split screens in a drag and drop way, pretty customizable in their own way. And you're pretty much good to go with split screens in just a couple of clicks, right? And you don't have to go back and mask things. It's all pretty much done for you. Now we have the garage generator, which is which was an idea that I quickly put together because I thought, well, let me just try it out and just get on with it and see how it works and if people like it. And there's three generators that you can use to create a bunch of textures for transitions or just backgrounds and stuff like that. Then we have the Swell MB titles, which is something that I've been wanting to get more into again. Uh, I wanted to design and animate a bunch of more like I have. I had the plan or idea to create a lot more callout titles and lower thirds and stuff like that, but I have to wear all the hats and I cannot be making videos and tutorials and then also build tools and then, and then put together everything that I have to put in the back end for things to work, like put the websites page together and everything that goes when you have a business sort of like in this type of space, right? You have to work a lot on a ton of different things and you cannot do everything. But yeah, that's something that I wanted to do. And this MB titles pack has 90, I think 90 animated titles that you can use. I developed these in DaVinci Resolve 17. So that's over like two years ago already that I've made those, but they still work pretty much the same way. I think nothing broke in the newer updates. The only thing is that if you don't have the font, they might stay black and then you just have to change the font and then the text shows up right there. Then we have the creator elements, which I did a small update last year. I can't remember what month it was, but I updated a bunch of things because in the updates to DaVinci Resolve 18, some, 18 point something, it actually broke a few things and then things got messed up. So I had to go back and fix this. Then we have the Swazi transitions, which are a little bit heavy in the sense that I had to do a lot of like put together a bunch of things inside the macros. So they take a little bit of work to render. And that's something that another thing that I wanted to experiment more with, like I experimented with ink, like real ink last year uh, to try to put together some sort of like ink transition that I could that you could drag and drop and make it work in a cool way inside DaVinci Resolve. But that never ended up working out because it was too unstable and the ink never ended up completely black and there was still it was just gray instead of yeah, it was it was a whole mess, right? Uh so I couldn't figure out a way to make that work the way I wanted to. And then I also had like an idea for a bunch of fire transitions. But yeah, those are things that are maybe I want to build this year if um if I have time for that, right? Then we have the hand-drawn elements, which was the collection of, I think, over 200 hand-drawn elements that I hand 
drawn or that I hand drew myself. So yeah, so those are pretty much all of them are generators and drag and drop elements that you can just put on top of your videos and stuff like that. And there's a bunch of transitions in them as well. Then we have the actual amazing paperful effects, which is probably the most popular tool that I've built, which is sort of like a, one of the most revolutionary tools of DaVinci Resolve in 2024. Maybe if there were awards for that, that could be one of them because a ton of people like this one. And it's doing pretty well, I think. Not as well as I wanted to, but it is going good. I need to get more feedback from people to th see what things can be added or fixed if you found any bugs and stuff like that. And then we have the Mosaic Pro, which is one of the later tools that I built last year in 2024, which has a collection of like, I think there's like 40 maybe pre-animated uh, sort of like mosaic screens. And on this Mosaic Pro tool, you can just put up to... What was it? I think it was 25 images that you can put together or videos as well. Mix them up to create really interesting mosaic effects. All right. So then what else do we have here? Oh, we have a bunch of... So on the actual website, I showcase a bunch of them. And if you click on these box, for example, it takes you to the hand-drawn elements website or the website, the landing page. Then if you click on this one, it takes you to the Swap store. I don't have an, an individual or... Uh, website for this one. I haven't built that yet, but maybe I should. Then I have the showcases of all the transitions from the SV title, SV transitions or the Swalvi transitions. Uh, a couple of things from the from the creator elements tool. We have a bunch of like overlay transitions like these, and a few tools that allow you to allow you to basically zoom in, zoom out, and stuff like that. Then we have the animated titles, and you can sh see all the different animated titles are here that you can use. And then the last time, the last thing we have is the timers collection that I built. I think I put together this last year, or like in the, during the beginning, first few months of the year, maybe. Um, so yeah, so those are the things that have, that are part of this Swabby bundle. And if you want to check out more of them, just go to bundle.swabby.com and on that page, or just click the link in the description. And here you can actually click on the individual ones to see more about them and see if there is something that will help you out. And here we have the click the fourth wall store for it or the lemon squeezy. Same thing works. It works on both platforms. I decided to put together two different platforms just in case because um, a couple of years ago I had all of them in one platform and then the platform unfortunately stop working so i had to move everything and yeah so it's better to have two just in case and then here we have the faq section if you have any questions or if you have any questions you can also just send me an email and i'll make sure to try to answer any questions that you have so that is this will be bundle and check it out and see if this is something that will help you out on your projects and that is it for this video i'll see you in the next one here in swathi bye